Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and welcome to month three of our Block of the Month follow along for 2024. The quilt is called Scrappy Sunshine. It is a 72 inch square quilt, and it's all made with scraps. I'll put some links in the description so you can see the first two videos. Now, instead of making blocks every month, we're making components little pieces of the entire quilt then we're going to put it together last month we made four patches this month we're going to make what i would call a quarter snowball block the very first thing we did was cut all of our pieces out first and that way we were able just to pick them up and start sewing so last month we took d and e sewed them together and made four patches. We will have a total of 72 of those four patches and four left over. We are going to need to take from our GJI pile 24 four and a half inch blocks. From the H pile, we're also going to need 24 white six and a half inch background fabrics. And these 48 pieces are all we're going to need for this month. This is what our finished block is going to look like. It's sort of a quarter snowball. A snowball block has these four corners stitched on and flipped over. We're going to do a stitch and flip method to get this block and it's going to remain six and a half inches. And there is a little trick on keeping this very precise. Pressing is one key thing and that is to make sure that our block is well pressed before it is cut. And that goes for that corner block as well. So this corner block is four and a half inches, the background fabric is six and a half inches. And we are going to draw a line from the corner to the corner, place that block along one edge and the idea is we're going to stitch along that line. It's going to flip back and remain that six and a half inches. However, it doesn't always work out that way. When we stitch right on the line, we usually are a little bit short in this corner by such a small amount, only by about two or three threads. But if you like it exact, there is a way that we can stitch this. And what we're going to do is stitch beside that line that we drew. So we're not stitching on the line, we're stitching right, right, right beside it. And that will go towards this area that we are going to trim off. Be sure to stitch on this side of the line. The other thing I would recommend is pinning for this block. Now you would think that this block will not shift, but sometimes as you're stitching, this corner does want to shift. So I do want to put a pin on the edge. It doesn't need to come right to that corner, just close to that corner. As you're stitching this, this smaller triangle is going to be to the arm or to the inside of the sewing machine. So we will be stitching along this side. These two pins work great, but if you find your fabric is still shifting, just put another pin right there in that corner. This is an easy one to start and straighten up, but as you're stitching, sometimes this does want to go a little wonky. Now we can stitch right beside that line and go right off. So there's the line that I drew and that thread, that stitching line is right beside. And as I stitched, the pins were not in the way. So I was able to keep this corner straight and stitch right off. It really seems like such a simple thing but by stitching on that one side and putting those pins, it really makes this accurate. So now when we fold that over and press it, 
it is a true corner. It's not off by a couple of threads. So with these 48 blocks, we will end up with 24 blocks that look like this. And I would recommend pressing that seam going towards that large piece of background fabric. This piece we will be trimming off. We could put a quarter inch ruler and trim that. Now you can make an additional block out of this and save it for another day. To do that, you're going to draw a second line. And it's going to be a half inch over from that first line. And that second line is going towards that point you're going to trim off. Now you're going to be able to stitch right there on that line, trim in between, which is giving us a quarter inch on each side. By doing those two rows of stitching, what we've done is we have kept our original block exactly the way it should be at six and a half inches, but we do have an additional block. And this is going to be a half square triangle. Now this will be able to be trimmed down to anywhere between a three and a three and a half inch square. Now this is not needed for the block of the month. However, if you decide to hold on to them and some other scraps through the project, I will give you a bonus project to use these scraps up with at the end of this block of the month. With those 24 blocks, and if you want those bonus blocks, we are now done for this month. So this month, it was a very easy block, and it was even easier if you follow that little trick about just stitching on the side of the line versus on the line. I do hope I see you next month so we can continue the Scrappy Sunshine Quilt. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I do have a newsletter. It's all free under So Very Easy. And be sure to make every day a Sotacular day. Bye for now.